So something I've seen a lot in the Hackintosh community is people getting set up with a Hackintosh desktop and liking macOS so much that they want to get a laptop with the same operating system on it. In fact, back before I made the switch to Linux, I did the exact same thing. Now, many people opt to buy a real MacBook when they want a portable Mac, but those are expensive and have issues, which got me curious. Could I take my inexpensive ThinkPad X220 and install the newest version of macOS on it? And if I could, would it be a good portable Hackintosh for people who don't need super powerful hardware? Well, I'm gonna be discussing that in today's video right now on the Linux Lounge. So recently I decided to challenge myself to get the newest version of macOS running on the ThinkPad X220. And although on paper technically it shouldn't be supported as the hardware is no longer supported by macOS, I was actually able to get it working using a patcher tool intended for all the Macs and a GitHub repository set up specifically for the ThinkPad X220 and macOS Catalina. Once I got everything working, I went ahead and played around with the ThinkPad X220 and decided to lay out some pros and cons I found while I was using the machine as a Hackintosh. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and tell you those and then sort of assess whether this machine is a good budget Hackintosh laptop. So the first major pro to getting a ThinkPad X220 for a budget Hackintosh is that the hardware is both fairly well supported by macOS and by the Hackintosh community. Assuming you're okay with patching your macOS install to work on older hardware, or running an older version of macOS, pretty much everything works completely fine and is really easy to get set up thanks to the plethora of guides and pre-made configurations available for the ThinkPad X220. Pretty much all of the hardware works under macOS, with the exception of the Wi-Fi card, but that's typical for Hackintosh laptops, and honestly it's not hard or expensive to replace the X220's Wi-Fi card. In fact, even ThinkPad specific hardware works fine. For example, the ThinkPad Ultra Base works perfectly fine under macOS, and that's a feature that you just don't get with real Macs. The only problem that you might encounter with the hardware is a few newer macOS features aren't supported due to the hardware's age. For example, the Metal Graphics API will not work on the ThinkPad X220, which might either be a deal breaker or no big deal depending on who you are, but in fairness, Metal doesn't work on real Macs that are similar to the X220 either. So all in all, I'm gonna say the hardware side of running Mac OS on the X220 is pretty solid. Another thing that's really neat about the X220 as a Hackintosh is just how cheap you can get the hardware. You can get the ThinkPad X220 for probably about £100 on eBay, which is vastly cheaper than getting a used Mac of a similar age, and vastly, vastly cheaper than getting a real Mac. And for that price, you're getting a machine that's honestly probably nicer than a real Mac. You get really solid build quality, a dependable machine, and something that's unlikely to break down, and all of the cool features that you get with a ThinkPad as well, including the ever-legendary keyboard. So all in all, I think getting a X220 to Hackintosh is a great deal. And now to finish off with our pros, I'd like to address a concern that you might have about buying a ThinkPad X220 to run macOS, and that's performance. Now true, the ThinkPad X220 is older hardware, and that does mean that it's no performance beast, but it's not bad either. Now, there's a stereotype out there that suggests that people who buy Macs do so to use them as social media machines. Now, I don't know if there's much truth to that idea, but were it true, the ThinkPad X220 would be a great Mac alternative. The X220 can absolutely handle web browsing and lightweight tasks that you'd want to do, and of course it's capable of running all the lightweight Mac exclusive software that you might want to run on the go. For example, the fantastic iWork suite. In fact, Although you almost certainly can't run something like Final Cut Pro on the X220, you could probably even use it for a bit of iMovie in a pinch if you really wanted to. In fact, just to demonstrate how competent the ThinkPad X220 is, I actually wrote the script for this video on an X220 running macOS, and of course I had several other programs open while I was doing that, and it handled everything like a champ. Now with all those good things said about the X220 as a Hackintosh, I now have to say what the downsides of getting this machine with the intent of using it as a Hackintosh are. 
and the first real downside is that the machine can be quite finicky to get working with macOS. Although older versions of macOS are quite easy to get installed and working, newer versions aren't so easy. So for example, I was able to get High Sierra up and running on the X220 in an afternoon without using any patching tools or anything like that, and I actually made a video about it on my channel if you want to see how that's done. Installing a newer version such as Catalina actually took me a few days to get everything working, and I couldn't seem to get it to work until I found a Git GitHub repository containing a custom Clover configuration that did enable it to work. Even once it was set up and running, I had to go in and tweak some BIOS settings to solve some graphical glitches I was having, and even then light mode on the system was just totally balked. However, with that said, once I got everything set up and running, the experience has been pretty good. So if you don't mind tweaking and configuring the ThinkPad X220, it might still be a good choice for your Hackintosh laptop. Another downside to getting this machine is that it's older hardware that's no longer officially supported by macOS, which means you're going to have to patch your macOS install if you want to install on this machine. Which is no big deal I guess, because Hackintosh is more often than not require patches and stuff anyway. However, the downside to running macOS on older hardware like this is that there's no real guarantee for how long macOS will continue to work or even how long the community will continue to support it. For example, it's entirely possible that a patch tool won't be developed for a future version of macOS, which would leave users of older hardware stuck on an older version of macOS. Although with that being said, I doubt that patching macOS to run on older hardware will become impossible between now and the time that Intel Macs generally can't run the newest version of macOS, but it could happen and it's a potential risk if you buy older hardware to install macOS on. Another problem with running macOS on this sort of older hardware is that you miss out on a lot of features that require newer hardware, for example metal. But perhaps worse to people who want to use those features is that hardware like the X220 is just not going to be powerful enough to run anything that requires metal. which. Given one of the selling points of macOS is all the cool creative software you can run on the platform, it might be worth considering getting something more powerful if you want to do anything beyond simple web browsing and other lightweight tasks. Now, with all of that said, what's my conclusion? Well, if you have a ThinkPad X220 already, like I do, or you have some way to acquire one cheaply, and you want to run macOS, it makes a great machine to do that with. It performs really well, and pretty much everything that you'd expect to work will work with a bit of effort. But would I recommend going out and buying a ThinkPad X220 with the sole intention of running macOS? Almost certainly not unless you have a very specific reason to want a ThinkPad X220 specifically. For example, the fantastic keyboard or slightly lower price tag as compared to, say, the ThinkPad X230. And speaking of the ThinkPad X230, honestly, I think if you're after a cheap, classic-ish ThinkPad to run macOS on, and you have a tight budget, that's probably the machine to get. It's a little bit more expensive, and the keyboard isn't nearly as good, but it's also a lot more powerful and vastly better supported under macOS. However, with that said, there definitely is an appeal to the ThinkPad X220, so my conclusion is that I personally love my ThinkPad X220 as a Hackintosh, and if you like what you hear in this video, I definitely recommend looking into one, and I'll have some links in the description to help you out with that, but I think to most people I would probably recommend a different machine, like for example the ThinkPad X230, but with that said, that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.